Hey everyone, I'm Doc Ben. And I'm Dr. Leo. Welcome to Doc Simple. Today's topic, otitis externa, otherwise known as outer ear infection or swimmer's ear. Okay, first section, symptoms of otitis externa. Right, so the symptoms tend to be drainage out of the ear, pain in the ear, and when we say in the ear for this, we're referring to either the, the outside portion called the, the helix. Helix. Or the little knob right over here. The bump. The appendage over here, yeah, called the tragus. Tragus. Yeah, both of those could be tender. You could be draining outside the ear. And you can have some muffled hearing. The okay. problem with this particular condition is that not only are you draining, but you have an inflamed canal. And the inflamed canal gets tight. And so that's the reason why you can't hear very well and why it hurts so bad. Right. Okay. So next section, typical treatment for otitis externa would include over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen or acetaminophen for pain control. If that doesn't control the symptoms and you actually need to resort to an antibiotic, otitis externa would need uh, antibiotic drops. Usually with a bit of steroid, because again, the issue is the, is the swelling in the inner canal. So some, some steroid and some antibiotic drops. We don't use oral antibiotics or treatments for this condition. We use drops for this condition. Okay, so our next section, who to call, where to go. You may call your primary care doctor, you and uh, alternatively, you could use an urgent care. Um, the times that we would suggest that you consider using an emergency room um, are times when these symptoms are really severe. Now, Ben, do you want to share what the, se the severe symptoms of this might be? Sure. If your pain is absolutely uncontrolled or the antibiotic drops don't work, or if you have pain that's spreading into areas other than the ear, the face, the head, or the back part of your skull. This is a big one right here, yeah. Kind of this little bumpy part, yeah. this bony thing. Yeah. It's not normally this prominent in normal people. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. That's called the mastoid. Right. If you have a lot of tenderness in that area, a lot of tenderness. The infection in your ear could have actually traveled back to that part of your skull. That certainly needs emergency room attention. Now, the good news is we don't want to scare you. It's exceedingly rare. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for listening to today's video on swimmer's ear or otitis externa. I'm Doc Ben. And I'm Dr. Leo. This has been Doc Simple. Please like us and share us.